Welcome to episode two of the No Code Ninja series. In this episode, we're going to learn how to personalize messages at scale. So how could we use automation to personalize those intro messages that we need to send out through email? The way how this automation is going to work is we're going to collect some LinkedIn URL information and update that in a Google Sheet. Then we're going to send that information to ChatGPT to read the profile information and generate a personalized message. And then the automation will update our Google Sheet and respective apps to finish the automation. So let's get started. So let's just log into make.com and we're going to create a new scenario. And then we will connect our Google Sheet and we're looking for the search rows. Now I've already connected my Google account with make.com. If you haven't done that, you can just go to add here and click sign in with Google and just follow those steps. And that should set you up. Once you've added that, then we're simply going to look for a spreadsheet. So I have created one. We're just going to add that. Just want to pick the right sheet name and then just hit OK. And pro tip, always hit save. You always want to be saving every single step that you create in Make. So let's just go to that Google Sheet. So the Google Sheet looks very simple. We've got a LinkedIn profile URL. And then we've got in column B, a just empty cell where we're going to generate our personalized messages. So let's go back to make, and we're going to set up the next step. All right, so for the second step, we wanna make sure that we have a way in which we can scrape this LinkedIn profile information. And a place I like to go to to find different APIs is API Hub. If you haven't used it, it's a great place to find a whole bunch of different APIs. The API that we will be using is called Fresh LinkedIn Profile Data API. And it's a great API for collecting LinkedIn profile information. So we're just going to subscribe to the basic package for now. And with this basic package, we get 20 free calls. So let's just hit subscribe. Okay, so that has been completed. And if we just click on endpoints, we should get the relevant information we need. So we've got our API key and the host. So what we're gonna do is go back to make and set this up. So we want to make a HTTP request, make a request. And the URL we're going to collect is here. Scrap this URL. And we're going to be making a get request so let's add the relevant header information we need. So, so this is the header information. It will be different for you when you logged in. And let's just go here. Include that the value there. This is the header. Right, and we want to also add the host. So we'll just grab that. Beautiful. So we've got the URL. We're doing a GET request. We've added key and the host information. 
and we're just going to hit OK. Just make sure again that you save this. The scenario was saved. Great. What we can do is just run the module, just see if everything's working. And looks like looks like it's working, but we haven't actually set up anything, no query, no string. So we're going to do that. So let's do that in the next step. String, LinkedIn URL, and the value we're looking for is here they've put an example uh, value, but we are looking for the value that's coming from our Google spreadsheet. So ideally it would be this value here. So how are we going to do that is we're going to look for our Google Sheet and we can see LinkedIn profile here and hit OK. And again, just hit save. Great. So our scenario was saved. Now we can run this, run this module. Let's actually run this whole automation. Okay, so let's have a look. Looks like we've got a status code 200. Great. So here you can see a whole blob of information about this URL, LinkedIn URL that we scraped. And this here is the second one. Great. So what we've got working now is we've got our spreadsheet with our LinkedIn URLs. We're able to scrape the profile information. And now let's move to the next step to set up ChatGPT. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take this data, all this LinkedIn information, and send it to ChatGPT. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for the JSON app here. Looks like this. And we're going to say transform to JSON. We're going to connect that. And we want to take the data from the API request and just plug it in there. Now, always good habit to save, to save it anyways. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that blob of text, which is this, and convert that into a JSON string. I find that ChatGPT can read JSON strings a lot better than unformatted text. So just make sure you do that step. What we're going to do is we're going to add our ChatGPT module we're going to add a completion. Just connect that there. I've already added my OpenAI API connection. If you haven't added yours, then you can simply follow the steps and hit add. I also have another video in which I go into the detail for how to add this if you struggle at this step. Nonetheless, let's continue. So we want to just click GPT-4 for now. And we're going to add a role and we're going to add a prompt here so here's one that i have crafted earlier i'm just going to add that so you are a cold outreach expert your goal is to take information from the below data and write a personalized intro sentence or a cold email the sentence must be short and leave a lasting impression the data will be provided as a json string below Please note these constraints. So from my testing, I noticed some weird things that ChatGPT does when you're trying to do personalization. So I've included these constraints in the prompt. For example, exclude these quotation marks, exclude the content from center. So just some weird kind of things I noticed. Feel free to chop and change the constraints as you see fit and have fun with crafting your own perfect prompt. So we're just going to hit okay for now but before we do that the last thing we want to make sure we do is pass that json string and now we hit okay so let's just save that and now that is saved so the next thing we want to make sure that we do is we update our 
spreadsheet with the chat GPT response. So we're just going to go for our Google Sheets and we want to update a row. So we'll just connect that there. We want to make sure that we've connected our Google Sheets account and we're just going to look for our spreadsheet. Let's get that sheet name. The row number is for a number here and we want to make sure that we update the personalized message that ChatGPT is going to generate for us in the right column. So we're just going to grab choices, messages, and we're going to grab that content, message content, and hit OK. Make sure that we save. Always make sure that we save. And now we're going to test this automation end to end. So let's just have a look at this running. So if we hit run once, beautiful. So we should be able to see in our spreadsheet, a personalized message. Here we go. Hi. As a fellow health enthusiast, I admire your dedication and passion towards providing effective chiropractic care and making a change in people's lives. Let's connect and explore potential collaboration opportunities. So here we have a personalized message and we can do a whole bunch of things with this. We can kind of send it to Google Mail. We can add a whole bunch of different apps, but this is the basic gist of it. If you have thousands of LinkedIn profiles, you can generate thousands of personalized message. And there you have it.